<laughs> the, the next one we have on here is higher is always better. It's always better to be high. Um, and I, <laughs> I have that as every a, time. Let me get my okay. glasses on. All right, here we go. Higher antennas are always better. And what I better had than down what here to get the, why. the assumption that raising an antenna as high as possible will always improve performance isn't always accurate. I think I look good in these glasses. Dude, you While have to get those glasses special. You can't find them at Walmart. I mean, these are these are Walmart specials. Th these are from Amazon. I got those them I, and I typed gonna, in you know, thick your rims. Mad. Thick rim glasses. Did you wipe the COVID off of them before you got them? It's a well, hot topic between you three, isn't it? I, I got when I got these. Um, <laughs> it was during the height of the pandemic, so all packages went into the sequestered center in the garage. <laughs> to microwave, and then for a while. each day they Zoom moved in into the next row of boxes where they were finally, after four days of sequestering, were deemed clean. So you're handling that like a hazmat oh, incident: only, the hot zone, the warm days. zone, Jeez. the cold so zone. Son, I had to, I had to spray the the the, the Lyle saw. You know what I mean? Like I was, uh, I was professional about it. I had my gloves on when I was handling them. You know, right when that started, I had a package coming in. I had to take my glasses off because I'm being serious. I had a package coming straight from China. It was a G90. It was my first G90. And I had ordered it just as the breakout had occurred. And it was coming through that port or whatever where there was, where the big breakout was in China. And I was scared to death to open the G90 box when it showed up. And I left it. I left it in the garage for like two weeks before I opened it up. But Stick it out in the sunlight. I was going to say, put it in the sunlight. Yeah. I got splaining to do here. While increased height can, while increased height can reduce ground losses and potentially improve long distance communications by lowering the takeoff angle, it can also adversely affect local communications. Then a near vertical skywave incident propagation commonly used for regional contacts works off of lower antenna yes. heights and actually might be more effective. So the, people say that all the time. They're like, height is might, higher is better, but it's not always true, right? No. I mean, a vertical antenna has a different takeoff angle than a horizontal antenna. And a horizontal antenna, right. two feet off the ground, is a different takeoff than 40 feet off the ground. And I, I, I ain't got no room to put a 40-foot off the ground antenna up in the air. Here. Right. So on 75 meters, like, height would do nothing for me. Well, how are you well, going to get, get 40 it 40 damn meters in the air? You know what I mean? Like, that that's some serious height. That's 130 feet high. Yeah. But honestly, like, my wire's horizontal, and I'm going straight up. It My height doesn't matter there. So you're talking it's like the 200, anything. 260 foot band is what you're talking about there. <laughs> the feet band. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. The 260 feet span. So I, I do, I do have a uh, video called dipole heights matter. And I think if you check that out, you'll see like I did some modeling in there and a half wavelength is usually the sweet spot. Um, like Gio was saying, that can be manipulated by going a little bit higher or a little bit lower. Most of the time people will manipulate it by coming a little bit lower we're unintentionally mounting a little bit lower and then have manipulated radiation patterns because you do incur those ground losses and your far field plots will look different than if you're at a half wavelength, but higher isn't always better guys. Yeah. So they got a three element Yagi on a tower with a rotator on it. And I want to say it's gotta be, I haven't, I haven't run the antenna tuner on. I haven't even been in the shack yet. I'm just looking at this thing from a distance. I, I want to say it's probably, you know, 20 meter Yagi. And it's not up high enough, but it's still going to outperform, you know, my 20 meter dipole. That's not as high. And uh, Hollywood's dropping the base on everybody. Yeah, now, what I, I like to give Chuck a hard time, and since he's not here, I'll tell you how I do it. Um, he has that three band antenna that's 10, 15, and 20. And I constantly am like, how do you change the elevation between the, when you switch bands and he doesn't, right? Because it's a Mosley and it's mounted at the top of his tower. But then I just <laughs> like say, well, is that, is that, is that really the best installation? But um, I'd say try to get as close to a half wavelength as you can when you're putting up your antennas. But a lot of times people have things like slopers and inverted Vs and all these crazy zigzag patterns all over the place. So I'm not even sure how much it matters there, but. Well, I mean, is you do what you can, right? Like yeah. 40, 40 meters in the air ain't happening, right? I, I don't have a, a lift truck to get up there that high, or you have power lines or something. So no matter what you do, it's going to be something. Well, you, you, you're mean, looking at works. around 65 feet, right, for a 40-meter half yeah. wavelength up. And I mean, holy hey, crap. That, that, that's up there. I mean, God bless you if you can do it. But could you imagine getting the half wavelength long, a half wavelength high at uh, – 
75. 40 meters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> hell, at 40 meters be bad enough. Yeah. <clears throat> now, where it's easy is like 10 meters, right? And, uh, right. So you're only looking at like 16 feet, um, you know, in a 32-foot band. But 